All right, guys, so I guess we'll kick this off as part three of the Texas hog hunt trip. So I'm leaving this place now, the Caddo Mounds State Historic Site. It's actually a really cool place on, I don't know if they call this Highway 21, maybe? Uh, yeah, State Highway 21. There it is down there at the bottom. Um, yeah, no, this is really cool. This is uh, in between Alto and Crockett. So if you're on State Highway 21 in between those two places, uh, yeah, recommend you check this place out. It's really neat. I'm gonna, I'll, uh, I'll roll in some of the pictures I took right now so you guys check that out. So Caddo Mounds State Historic Site. Really neat. The, uh, the Caddo Native American Native Americans. They've got uh, some mounds out there, and then there's one across. This one right here is across the, the highway, but it's fenced in. So. That's one of their that's one of their mounds right there. So really neat. Good stuff. Again, that's a that was a cool place to, to check out. And they've got, as you can tell by the map, I mean they've got a lot of walking trails. You can go look at or go hike and all that fun stuff. So that's kind of what I did. Spent part of my midday doing that. Now, time to get back to the house, charge up the phone take me a nap and uh, get everything prepped for the evening hunt so you can see how bad everything's flooded right here it's it's not supposed to look like this so a lot of water in this part of the country they I think it's the it's the Neches Neches River Neches N-E-C-H-E-S maybe hold on I'll tell you but anyway it this particular river it's supposed to crest. It's not even as high as it's gonna get. It's supposed to crest on Monday, and it will it'll break the previously held record for uh, for water level dating all the way back to I think it's 1929 is what they were saying. So historic flooding in this yeah Neches N E C H E S Neches River. So. All right, let me get back. Let me kick my feet up for a little bit, charge my phone, and then let's see if we can't close out this trip by getting a hog on the ground, or maybe a coyote, who knows? So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is my last hunt of the trip. I'm not gonna be able to hunt overnight with the thermal tonight. I was only gonna be able to do that one night because I gotta get back on the road and get back home. Saturday. My plan is uh, this is the same spot I was in last night. Hoping that something will come out. Feeding on the corn and everything that they've been putting out right up there at the field edge at the tree line. But then also I had those coyotes come in behind me yesterday evening. set up so I'm gonna sit a little bit longer this evening than I did yesterday evening I think it, it 
just reached a point where I couldn't really see anymore at like 20 after 8, something like that. Well, my plan is to sit till 9, 9 or close to it. And so I'm going to, once it gets too dark to see, I brought the 270 tonight. I'm going to switch over and use the AR. scan and see if anything's coming out right there um, where it's getting too dark to see so that's the plan hopefully uh, it'd be nice if some code tried to slip back through there I'd bust them with the AR but hopefully something will step out in front of us over there I'm going to get you guys set up on the tripod again and uh, we'll go from there so see what happens Stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap on the Texas hog hunt. Oh, boy, I tell you what, we come out of the gate hot, didn't we? Had two pigs on the ground. First sit of the weekend. And then we just, we got skunked after that. It is what it is. I'm pumped. We got those two on the ground, so that made the trip worthwhile, that right there. So right now I'm just getting packed up. I got the foiler back here. That's the thermal on right there. I was just scanning the field edge, it's already it's nine o'clock and that's that's the time I need to be rolling out of here I'm, I gotta get on the road at 10 plan is to drive through the night so I need to be packing up and getting out of here so that's what I'm doing now but I keep picking up that thermal and scanning the field edge just in case but ain't nothing out there so well that's a wrap I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking with it and watching these videos i really do appreciate it. it's been a lot of fun i tried to film as much as i could of the hunting part it was having some difficulties with the scope adapter and and trying to get my tripod set up in certain spots where i am it's not exactly just completely flat level ground and then two just trying to have everything set up to where i can film and hunt it's not the easiest thing so but that's where we're gonna leave it so i really appreciate it hope you have a good one we'll catch you next time